How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of grim up in this piece. In the form of their Maypole Maybach Lager. Yes, this is a double decoction mashed Maybach. Coming in 6.5% alcohol by volume. This comes courtesy of my boy Kyle. My boy Kyle sent this off with a bunch of uh, Brooklyn beers. And this would be the third one of that group that I'll be diving into. So my box, um, basically you're talking about just kind of like a lightly malted, lighter, mal lighter malted Bach. Um, I guess that would be like kind of their version, I think, if I'm going to kind of wrestle down to anything, their version of a hop forward beer. And by their, I mean them or their, where's my little stand? I forget my goddamn little stand thing. Anyway, um, their version, it's just typically like a like a light-bodied Bach beer with a bit more of a hot presence to it. So that's usually what you got going on there. As far as this beer goes, proper glassware in that sucker. And it's got this nice hazy unfilteredness going to it. Um, definitely lighter than what you'd expect from a typical Bach beer, but that's your May Bach, May Bach. Um, and it is May, so it's kind of appropriate. Uh, index finger or pinky finger, just under pinky finger of a nice creamy head on it. And the soft carbonation, actually more like champagne -y kind of carbonation in what amounts to a nice, beautiful, hazy German style beer. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a nose. That's very, very vibrant, both from a malt perspective and an old kind of bittering Tettenauer kind of hoppy kind of uh, way. Tettenauer. I don't know why I say Tettenauer. Yeah, it's actually, and this is going to be a weird one. It smells warm. It doesn't make any sense. I know you can't smell temperature, but it smells warm to me. This is cold. You can see the can is perspiring because it's a it's a little bit humid today, but it smells warm. I don't even know what it means, but it has this nice rich maltiness to it. This nice herbal kind of uh, hop kind of bittering going on. Yeah, I think it smells pretty damn tasty. Let's just dive in. Cheers. Big toasty, almost in the bready kind of malt characteristic. A nice, aggressive, but not over the top kind of bittering there. Um, it gets almost, it's getting past like tea, like getting past like herbal. It's stopping short of being like a piney kind of thing, but there's a nice kind of pop of bittering on this. Beautiful, soft, luscious mouthfeel to it. Well, at the same time, you get the sharpness from those hops. And really, the malt's kind of driving the day here because and just getting this really big, robust, meaningful, purposeful, but relatively low ABV, kind of um, uh, uh, aggressive uh, hoppy beer. And that's kind of what I said at the beginning. I would kind of, if I was going to like, you know, gun to my head, kind of be like, what's Germany's Rheinheinz Gebuti version of an IPA? That's kind of where my box come off for me. And this one probably is a little bit more hoppier in uh, that my box direction. I mean, it's a my, my box style lager. So they're even saying it's not in the Maybach. They could go Maybach style because they're not not wanting the pits on the old um, boots of the Germans there. But um, but yeah, and I didn't even talk about the lager aspect of it because it is crisp, it's clean, it's well made, and it's super drinkable. But it, but it does come off a little bit not hefty, softer, creamier than you expect from, from lager. But you're also talking about the malt bill here. You're getting into your Bach level stuff. So once you get up there to double Bach, you're talking about luscious mouthfeels. So it kind of makes sense. And just a really tasty beer from a brewery that, honestly, I just really, really like. Um, it's one of the one of the breweries I will be uh, visiting post-haste once uh, me and the family are, feel comfortable, clear enough from COVID. Just really good stuff. Thank you very much, Kyle, for sending this off. I could crush a billion of these. 6.5% probably a scoosh higher than I like to be, but it's drinking at its weight class, so I'm not going to sit there and kind of poop on that. Just say, is it one of the better my box I've had as of late? Yes, Mount Rushmore status, actually. Um, value and availability on this, I have no idea. So, Kyle, please let me know what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like German lagers, you like box, you like my box, and you like your German styles, and you want just a touch, a little bit more kind of bittering to them, that's your beer. There you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a grim right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.